Well, I want to fax to Mars. And in Switzerland, it's going to be illegal now to throw a lobster into a pot of boiling water without rendering it unconscious. Uh, I should state for the record some of these things I kind of agree with, especially this one. Uh, I've always had a problem with just taking a life conscious lobster and throwing it in a pot of boiling water. I've had an issue with that for some time. When it comes to cooking fresh lobster, the Swiss are now saying we feel your pain. New law goes under the fact March 1 that bans common cooking method of tossing live lobster into a big pot of boiling water, quickly killing the tasty crustacean. Practice is being outlawed because the Swiss say it's cruel and lobsters can sense pain. First national legislation of this kind in the world calls for more humane death for lobsters by rendering them unconscious before buoyant, plunging them into scalding water. Two methods are recommended, electrocution or sedating the lobster by dipping it into salt water and thrusting a knife into its brain. I said I've always had a problem with just tossing one right into a pot of boiling water myself, so I can pretty much agree with this one. Next ones, however, I can't agree with. Sin Law also gives domestic pets further protections, such as dogs can no longer be punished by barking for barking. And a baloney. They rolled up newspaper and swam on the rear end. Measure is part of a broad principle of animal dignity enshrined in Switzerland's constitution, the only country that has such a provision. The constitution also protects how various species must be treated and specifies animals need socialization. They have socialization, they have humans. That means cats must have daily visual contact with other felines. Oh my goodness, and hamsters and guinea pigs must be kept in pairs. And anybody who flushes pet goldfish down the toilet is breaking the law. There's actually a sound reason for that. Uh, you know, they become an invasive species, and they wind up in places where they ought not be. So there's actually a reason for that. New lobster le legislation boils down to a pa pain-free death was driven by research, including a study by Queen's University in Belfast that found crustaceans are sentient creatures. These studies show that lobsters, like other animals, experience pain and distress, said Stephen Countermain, spokesman for the Federal Office of Food Safety and Veterinary Affairs. The lobster consumption in this land like country is negligible, which means the law does very little. The Parliament has tried to ban the import of all live lobsters to prevent them from an agonizing death in the hands of Swiss restaurant cooks. Comfortman said. I've actually heard that it kills them instantly, so they don't feel anything, but how the hell, you know, I can't tell. Drastic measure also against imports would violate international trade agreements, so authorities instead issue new rules on how to make lobsters demise as painless as possible. The law also stipulates that lobsters must be transported in the final destination of the natural environment, seawater, rather than on ice. Animal rights activists want a new lobster law and call for more action. Well, this may be one of the cruelest methods of killing these fascinating creatures in Switzerland. There are no laws protecting them from being boiled alive in other countries, including the U.S., PETA said. Here comes PETA. First, they're going to stick their nose in. 
Globally, Switzerland is at the for forefront of animal welfare, the legislation said. Antoine Yetzel, an attorney and founder of Zurich based Global Animal Law Association. In 2010, Yetzel represented in court a 22 pound pike that had, he said, had suffered when the local fisherman yanked it for 10 minutes before pulling it from Lake Zurich. Uh, I never caught a pike, but I know they're the latest fighters. You're not just going to pull them right into the boat. I know that much. They were, they have caught carp, and they're hellacious fighters, and you don't just pull them into the boat. That's not going to happen. Fisherman was eventually called. acquitted, but Gosfeld spearheaded a national referendum in the same year to grant animals constitutional right to be represented by lawyers in court. Oh my goodness. Uh, how are they going to pay the lawyers? Unbelievable. Proposal was rejected by 70% of the voters. Good. Not everybody is happy with the regulation. Chef Renee Widmer, founder of Protest ProRest Culinary School in the Town of Rats, complained to the black newspaper that new law is useless. I always turn lobster upside down before throwing it in the boiling water, then it dies within seconds, he said. Well, there you have it. Take it or leave it. You know, I do have a problem with throwing a live lobster into a pot of boiling water. That I'll grant you. But when these lawyers want to be able to represent critters in court, that's getting... It's kookiness. Kooks! Kooks! Our facts, Mars, take it for what it's worth. Thanks for watching.